This video is reviewing uh, part two of 10-4, all about inscribed angles. So in the last video, part one of this lesson, we went over um, kind of rules of inscribed angles and intercepted arcs created from those angles, right? So now we're gonna apply those rules to quadrilaterals in a circle, okay? So the first thing it says here is an inscribed angle of a triangle intercepts a diameter or semicircle if and only if the angle's a right angle. So think about that for a second. Here we have angle A, right? This angle right here, and it touches my circle here at point B, and it touches my circle here at point D. So that's where it intercepts or cuts into my circle, right? So this whole entire intercepted arc here, remember the, the angle is half the arc, and if this line is a straight line through the center of my circle connecting point B to point D, that means that I've intercepted this arc here. That's half the circle. The measure of this intercepted arc is 180 degrees, right? Because if I connect those two points where my angle intercepts it, that's the diameter of my circle. It's a semicircle. And remember the rule is, that an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So if I kind of did the whole flashlight thing here, right, if I stood at point A and shined a flashlight, where it hits the circle, that's the, oops, that's the intercepted arc. If the intercepted arc is 180 and the angle across from it's half of that, what's half of 180? 90 degrees. So if the triangle, if the two sides of the triangle create a semicircle or if they touch my circle and they can be connected by a diameter that means this whole intercepted arc is half the circle 180 which means this angle has to be 90 right same with this other side here it creates this intercepted arc angle c creates this intercepted arc this arc is half my circle it's 180 so angle c has to be 90 degrees as well the inscribed angle is half the intercepted arc, right? So then the next rule for quadrilaterals in a circle that are inscribed in a circle, remember inscribed is when the vertex lays on the circle. The point where two lines meet up actually falls right on the circle. So an inscribed quadrilateral has opposite angles that are supplementary, just like these two opposite each other are each 90 degrees. 90 and 90 adds up to 180. These two also have to add up to 180 because the inside of a quadrilateral adds up to 360. So um, if we keep that in mind, we can do some examples. So the first one that it gives you here is this picture, and it asks us to find the measure of angle K. Let me try and zoom in here. All right, asks us to find the measure of angle K in this picture right here. All right, looking at this, we see a few things. We see that this arc is congruent to this arc, right? So if the two arcs are congruent, that means the angles across from them have to be congruent as well, right? Because this angle M right here creates this intercepted arc. Angle L creates this intercepted arc. If the two arcs are the same size and the inscribed angle across from them are half the measure of the arc, then these two angles have to be the same size. So L and M, it tells us in the directions, are both 3x plus 5. And we want to find the measure of just angle K, right? So I know this angle plus this angle plus this angle adds up to 180. So I'm going to add 5x plus 5 plus 3x plus 5 plus 3x plus 5, or two times 3x plus 5, and I know that's all supposed to add up to 180 degrees. So 5x plus 5 plus 6x plus 10, 11x plus 15 equals 180 minus 15, uh, 165, divide both sides by 11, 1, 5, 15. x is going to equal 15. Once I know what x is, I'm just going to plug it back in to solve for angle k, right? 5 times 15 is 75, plus 5 is 80. 5 times 15 
plus 5. 5 times 15 is 75. 75 plus 5 is 80 degrees. And that's what they got here. 80 degrees. X equals 15. Plug 15 in for the measure of angle K, and you get 80 degrees. So we're just kind of lumping in all these rules that we've learned to solve for missing measures. All right, so for number one here, we are solving for X. X is the measure of this guy right here. Well, I see that this angle, this inscribed angle, has an intercepted arc that's 180 degrees, right? It's a semicircle, which means this angle has to be 90. It's the angle across from the inscribed, or the intercepted arc. An inscribed angle is half the measure of the intercepted arc. Half of 180 is 90. Okay, and then it also gives me angle W and angle X. So I know these three added together have to add up to 180. So 90 plus X plus this, 90 plus X plus this angle, X plus 12, has to add up to 180. So I'm going to set it equal to 180. So 90 and 12 is 102. X plus X is 2X. That equals 180. Minus 102 from both sides, it's 78, so x equals 36. x equals 36. And then for the measure of angle W, once I know what x is, I can plug it in here. 36 plus 12 equals 48. And just for the heck of it, I can try to make sure that all three of these angles now add up to 180. So this one is, what did I say, 36. This is 48. This is 90. Sorry, I just realized, stopped my phone and fixed it. I just realized this is not 36, this is 39. This angle here, angle X, 78 divided by two is 39. And so because this is 39, 39 and 12 is 49, 50, 51. This is 51. Okay, so then when we add 51 plus 39, um, that's 90 plus 90 is 180. So they do all add up to 180. So this one, angle W, is 51 degrees, and angle X was 39 degrees. Sorry about that. Quick mental math mistake. Okay, next problem, let's scroll down here. Number five, the measure of angle R. So remember when we have a four-sided quadrilateral, all quadrilaterals are four-sided, a four-sided shape called a quadrilateral um, that's inscribed on a circle, all four corners are on the circle, um, then the opposite angles are supplementary. So 75 plus 3x is gonna add up to 180. 75 plus 3x equals 180. Minus 75, 3x equals 105. So x is going to equal, 3 goes into 10 3 times, and 15, 35. x is 35, and it asks for the measure of angle r. r is 3 times 35. So uh, 2 times 35 is 70, plus 35 is 105. We know this whole thing has to equal 105. Plus, I guess I didn't even have to solve for x. This plus this adds up to 180. If this is 75, this angle has to be 105. Okay, and then the measure of angle S, well, we know this guy's 110. This plus this has to equal 180, so this has to be 70. Angle S has to be 70. Uh, 180 minus 110 equals 70 degrees. Opposite angles are supplementary for the quadrilaterals in a circle. Okay, number three and four, go with this picture. All right, so we have to first solve for X. I'm a little too close here, sorry. Hard to see. First solve for X, X is um, the measure of this angle here is two X, and the measure of this angle is 4x minus 6, and I know this angle is 90 degrees. How do I know it's 90 degrees? because this angle, this inscribed angle S, creates this intercepted arc, which happens to be a semicircle, right? So since this whole arc is 180, the angle across from it has to be half that, which is 90. All right, so if this is 90, then R plus T have to equal 90, because all these add up to 180. So 2X plus 4X minus 6, has to equal 90. 
2x plus 4x minus 6 equals 90. 2x and 4x is 6. x, add 6 to both sides, equals 96. Divide by 6, that gives us 1, 6, 16. x equals 16. That's what we had to solve for here. And the number four, we have to solve for the measure of angle T. It tells us that T is 4X minus six. We know X is 16. So four times 16 minus six, that's 40 and 24, 64 minus six is 58 degrees for the measure of angle T. Okay, and then lastly, seven and eight. The measure of angle W, we've got our quadrilateral. We know that opposite angles add up to 180. They are supplementary. So for angle W, this angle plus this angle adds up to 180. X plus 18 plus 2X equals 180. 3X equals 162. All right, plus 18. No, plus eight, yeah, plus 18. And then divide by three, x equals um, five, 54. So here x equals 54 and angle W is 54 plus 18, that's 72 degrees. 54 plus 18 equals 72 degrees for the measure of angle W. And then the measure of angle x, this guy, is directly across from this guy, and we know they add up to 180. Okay, so two, what is that? Three Y minus seven plus three Y plus one equals 180. Six Y uh, minus six. Six Y equals 186. Y equals 31. And once we know what y equals, I can plug it back in to find the measure of angle x. Um, 3y minus 7, 3 times 31 minus 7. That's uh, 3 times 3 is 93. Minus 7 is 86 degrees. 86 degrees for angle x. So if this is 86, this is 31. So 3 times 31 is 93 94, this is 86, this is 94, that makes sense, they add up to 180, and then these guys across from each other added up to 180. Okay, so biggest rules for this lesson are that an inscribed angle, which is like angle W here, it lies on the circle, it's half the measure of the intercepted arc that it creates, and when you have um, an intercepted arc that lies on a semicircle, so these two points here create the arc, if those two points can also be connected by the diameter of a circle, then we know this um, inscribed angle has to be 90 degrees. And we learn that opposite angles of a quadrilateral that's inscribed in a circle are supplementary. If you have any questions on any of that, please don't hesitate to let me know. And I hope to see you guys at the live Q&A on Friday.